Dave Porter with Vouch Video. When it comes to radiator repair in Bucks County, Montgomery County, I could not be standing with two better industry pros. I'm standing with Harry and Harry Jr. from GT Radiator Repair. You guys have been doing this for a long time. You're taking on all types of radiator repairs. A lot of people just think about car radiator repairs, and yes, you can handle them. Yes. But those big trucks that are at quarries, tell me about some other radiator repairs you're taking on. Yeah. Well, our real specialty um, is the trucking industry, along with the uh, industrial industry, quarries, remote generators for hospitals and big places like the Comcast and the sports centers. We do all those radiators, you know, the emergency generators that are so important to a hospital. Everything is run by a computer nowadays. They cannot afford to shut down, you know, because of loss of power. Harry Jr., you took on a major repair that you couldn't bring the radiator out. You had to go there. Tell me about that project and how important it was to that company to have that repaired. We did a generator that's at Abington Hospital. And when the generator was installed, the hospital hadn't been built yet. So the generator is actually in the basement of the hospital. There is no access to remove the radiator and the radiator was leaking, had reached the end of its life. So we had to go in, we disassembled the radiator on site, brought it back here, cleaned everything up, engineered a new radiator core for it that was a little more modular so that we could get it into the building and we reassembled it on site, put it all together, tested it and uh, they're back up and running. When it comes to trust and integrity, I could not be standing with two better people that are going to educate the customer on what it takes. People come in and say, oh no, this automotive place told me I need to do this, this person told and you say, no, this is what you need to do, this is how much it would cost, and right. you see the smile on the face. Is that why you're in business here? Yeah, I mean, it's, we literally started this business, our father had a trucking company, and my uncle has a large trucking company. And the problem we were having is we hauled sandstone and gravel for all the quarries, marshy quarries, better materials, all the large quarries around. And no one could get their radiator out and repaired. And when you have a truck sitting for days or a piece of equipment, bulldozer, backhoe, whatever it would be, um, just to get the radiator repaired, um, it just drove us crazy. So literally, we built our own radiator department so we could solve these problems, not just for ourselves. As other people in the industry heard that we were doing our own radiators, they came calling and literally we sold our trucking company because we could not keep up to all the radiator repairs and starters and alternators that we do for, you know, for the industry. There's all types of size radiators you work on. Tell me which ones can be repaired, why they can be repaired, why they can't be repaired. Our first step is to try to repair it. We don't want to sell anyone anything they don't need. So first thing is, you know, radiator comes in, gets clean, tested. I don't say that anything can't be repaired. Automotive, you know, a lot of times it's something simple. Road debris hits a tube or something like that. So that's the first route we always go anytime anything comes into our shop, whether it be an automotive, a heavy truck, piece of equipment. Um, you know, the first route we're looking is, can we repair it? If it can't be repaired, then the next step would be, what can we do to, to solve the customer's problem? Uh, a lot of times we do large stuff on site, you know, eight foot by eight foot, sometimes even bigger. If it's beyond being repaired, we'll come up with a solution to solve that problem on site, whether it be building a core or some other solution, you know, where we take care of it on site. We also do a lot of restoration of antique radiators. A lot of that stuff has identifiers on it that indicate that it belongs with that car, uh, a date or a, a number stamp, and that tells you it belongs with this specific car. Something like that, if, it's, if the car is trying to be exact, you have to keep it that way. So if it's beyond repair, we can build a core to the exact specifications of what it was originally when it came out of the factory. Um, we clean it up, pull it, we pull it apart, clean up, glass beat everything, put it back together, match the paint to how it was originally, and the customer gets back basically a brand new radiator that's you know exact for their vehicle. GT uh, Radiator Repair has been identified as one of the best in southeastern Pennsylvania and, and even further. I mean, New Jersey, yeah. people are coming from everywhere yes. uh, for you and calling you to travel. How far out will you travel for a radiator repair? Through the whole you know, tri-state area. I mean, we're in Delaware, we're in Maryland, North Jersey, New York. Wherever there's a problem and someone can't solve that problem, we can. 
Well, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time yes. with me today. I look forward to recommending your radiator repair service. Uh, you know, obviously these companies are depending on uh, quality guys to show up and get the job done, you know, and, and get the repair done, right? Yeah, that's what makes, I mean, that's why we're here. It makes us happy. You know, we're not happy till the customer's happy. It's really simple that way. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.